tax preparation information. What's the best way to track the information that we're going to need at the end of the year for the tax preparation? Now, if we have a business, of course, we're going to need some type of profit and loss at the least in order to prepare the taxes. But we're also going to have a lot of personal information that's not related to the business as well. What's the best way that we can put all this stuff together so that at year end we have the information that is necessary? Obviously, on the business side, it's nice to have that information into accounting software such as QuickBooks because then we have it in one place. We can generate the reports from it or we can give actually the backup file possibly to the tax preparer at the end of the year. They can then process the reports, make any adjustments that are necessary. So that's great for the business information. But we know there's, there's a lot of things that we need to track on the personal side as well. Many of these things we, we receive a form for. So if we get 1099 interest or dividends, we're going to receive forms for those types of items that might not be as necessary for us to track that information separately. But there are some items that we might account for that we might need information on that we don't get outside third party documentation for. Things like if we have education type expenses or if we need to deduct medical expenses, uh, state taxes, we could have some child care type of expenses, the charitable uh, deductions that we could have these are things that are going to accumulate upwards they're usually going to be having questions at the end of the year uh, in addition to the types of things that we need to put in place for the business information to report the business information if we are already using quickbooks for the use of the business information we might think hmm is it possible for us to track some of these items that we know we're going to be needing to track within quickbooks now this is a touchy situation here because we know that QuickBooks typically we want to make sure that it is separate for the most part from the personal. So QuickBooks is separate from the personal. However, we also know that many small businesses run their QuickBooks file. Uh, in essence, one major component or reason is for tax preparation ease at the end of the year. And if that's the main goal to make the information in one place that make the tax preparation as easy at the end of the year, then it might make sense then to add some of these items that would be necessary that we know we're going to have to track for taxes. To do so, however, we want to make sure that we do so in a, in a logical way so that we could still have a separation of the reporting on it. If This is going to be an interesting type of topic for bookkeepers and it could be interesting for accountants as well as well as anybody that owns a business. If we are an accounting student and we want to learn accounting software, putting the personal information is uh, good to do. Putting the personal information or tracking personal information in QuickBooks is nice to get uh, aware of or get aware of how to do that. Also, we want to think about, well, what does it mean to have personal data and to have the business data? Uh, what's going to be the difference between those two as we look at those two items in one QuickBooks type of file? We get a better idea and a better feel of how to treat personal data and business data. This is something we're going to need to do anyways, because even if we just have a separate business account, for example, uh, someone might write payments or make payments out of the business account for personal expenses and whatnot, and we'll have to deal with that. How do we treat with those types of activities that will happen? In essence, what we'll do now is set up a similar system where we purposely will track that information in a separate account. We'll show a different, couple different methods that we can use to do this. It'll also help us look at some functions within QuickBooks. We'll set up one method being class tracking, another being kind of an equity method uh, to track this information. <clears throat> if we are a bookkeeper and provide services to small businesses, it might be useful to think about different ideas to track personal information or some personal data. The reason is because that could differentiate you from other types of, of businesses as well. And we can anything you can do that would be easy to do or fit within your plan that would then also help you to work with the tax preparer at the end of the year and the client in a in a more congruent type of way would be something of value. And oftentimes people don't understand again any any kind of tracking on the personal side of things. And if you do, if you understand a little bit of tracking on the personal side what you can do and how you can separate personal and business and still uh, provide a service of tracking what you know will be necessary for tax preparation at the end of the year that could be useful if you're a business owner of course and you are trying to track your information as easily as possible in one file uh, then this would be a couple different methods that you might use to do that 
and that would make it a little bit easier if you can track them both in one file and then just provide that file to the bookkeeper or to the tax preparer at the end of the year for tax preparation that would be nice uh, we do have a course on this we have a discount or affiliate type discount in the link below if you wanted to check that out here's what the course page will look like you do have a substantial part of the course that you could take a look at for free if this is something of interest you can go in there it's basically a mini course that you can go into and take part of it uh, for free if you wanted to continue on with it then you can continue and move forward from that point once again there will be a discount uh, coupon below in the description